Hello, this is Ryan Turner with VWDiesel.net. Today we are going to be replacing the horns on a Mark IV Jetta Golf, either one. And we have started with the car up in the air and the tire removed. Now this video is sponsored by our friends at FixMyVW.com. They donated the horns so that I could do this video for you. A lot of times the horns get caked up with road grime and really just nasty stuff from driving for so long and they just fail to work. This is a really simple process that anybody can do. You need a T25 and a 13 mil basically is it uh, once, the once the tires are removed to do this job. We will start by taking the six T25 screws out of the fender liner. And once those are out, we will be able to fold it backwards and see the horn. All right, the fender liner is loose. Now we will simply drag it backwards, move it out of the way. It's pretty flexible. We just want to get it back as far as we can. And it's nice if you have a bungee that you can kind of hook it to keep it back out of your way so that you can work in this area. Next, we will zoom in on the horns and replace those. Now with the fender liner moved backwards, you can see the two horns in here. The high one is the top and the low one is the bottom one. The easy way to remember that if you are replacing them and you get the horns mixed up is the high side is the high one and the low one is the low one. So now we will take our 13 millimeter wrench and we will remove the nut from the top one and then remove the clip on it. Now sometimes these clips here can be a pain. You simply squeeze in on them. Sometimes they come off. Sometimes you'll have to get a pick and pop these little retainer rings off. You see the, the metal rings on there, they just pop right off. And sometimes you have to do that if they're really stuck. And now we simply remove the bolts on the low side and we are ready after that to put the new horns on. All right, now we have the new low side of the horn. If you look on the bell right here, it is marked low. The high is also marked high in the same spot. We will take the nut off of it, leaving the star washer below. Put it on the nut on the stud. Find the cable, which is the top one. Plug it in. And then we will orient it to the horn facing backwards and then tighten it up. Same procedure with the top one, making sure that it says high right here. I would like to add that the nuts on the new ones happen to be a 14 instead of a 13. So make note of that, not a big deal. We'll put it up into place orient it back towards the fender well, tighten the bolt up, and we'll be ready to put the fender liner back on. All right, the fender liner is back into place, and we will take our handful of screws, start putting it back into place, and that is all there is to it. Tighten the wheel back up, torque it down, and then we will test the horn. All right, everything is assembled. Let's try it. As you see, our horns are nice and loud. Before they were pretty much non-existent. This is a nice, cheap, easy way to make your car a whole lot safer than it was without horns. Because that middle finger is only so loud. So this is Ryan Turner from VWDiesel.net. Thanking you for watching this video. I hope that it helped you. And once again, please visit our sponsors. FixMyVW.com. Links for these parts will be at the bottom of the page in the show notes or in the video files. Thank you very much and drive safe.